Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to solve a very interesting and very commonly asked SQL interview question. In this question, we have a seats table where we have different students and their seat ID. Right, so this is seat ID one, student Amit. What we need to do, write a solution to swap the seat ID of every two consecutive students. If the number of students is odd, the ID of the last student is not swapped. Basically, we need to swap the consecutive ID. So for example, Amit's ID, seat ID is 1 and Deepa's is 2. So we need to swap. We need to say Amit's is 2 and Deepa's is 1. Right? Similarly, for next two rows, Rohit will get 4, Anjali will get 3. Now if there are number of seats are odd, in this case if you see there are 7 seats, then for the last one there is nothing to swap. Right? The 5 will go to Sanjay, 6 will go to Neha and then for Priya nothing is there. So in that case, it will remain as it is. The ID of the last student is not swept. If it is even number of students, then there is no problem, right? It is fine. We, we can swipe every seat, right? So what we will do today, we will solve it using two methods, right? When I say solve it, I will create another column here, new seat ID, where we have swapped seat IDs. That is one thing. And in the last, what we will do, we will write an update statement to actually swap the IDs in this table itself not creating any new column in the table itself we will update it using the update statement okay so let's start first by solving the question okay so what we will do so we have this table so first thing what we will do we will use the case when statement and take care of this right so what i will say i will say case when id equal to max id right we have to take care of this first select max id and let me know which solution you find better okay select max id from seats right and this is odd right so the max id the id should be max id that is one thing and that should be odd number if it is even then we don't have to worry about it so i will say id percentage 2 equal to 1 right it means it is an odd number then ID itself, right? We don't have to do anything else. If it is max ID, right? And if it is odd, then ID itself. So Priya will get 7 itself, right? If it is even number of even number of rows, then this will never go here, right? Because max number will be even, right? So we have taken care of it. Next thing is I will say when okay, when this ID percentage 2 equal to 0, which means when this number is even right then i will say then id minus one right which means if it is two make it one if it is four make it three if it is six make it five right else else means last option is the number is odd right then i will add one else i will say id plus one right and as new id that's it Right, so if I just run this, we will see a new ID with the swapped seats. Okay, so you see Deepa has got 1, Amit has got 2. 3, 4, 4, 3. Yeah, right, we have swapped it. Okay, this is method number 1. Now in this method also, we can do one more thing. Let's say this IDs are not consecutive, right? Maybe it is 1 and then 5 and then 6, anything. Now we have taken advantage that these are consecutive numbers. Let's say these are not consecutive. Then what we can do, we can generate a row number first based on order by ID. And then instead of using ID, we can use that row number column, right? So that also you can do. But for now we are using this, this column, right? Even if it's, it is not consecutive, we know we can generate a row number and then use that instead of this ID. Okay. Let's go to the solution number two. In solution number two, what we will do, let me just copy this here. Okay, now what we will do, we will make use of lead and lag function. Okay, so what I will do, I will say when id% 2 equal to 0, we are saying id minus 1. Instead of that, I will say lag, lag of id comma 1, right, order by over order by id. So it will give you the previous id, right. Order by ID means it will give you previous ID. I am using lag, right? Similarly, 
else if it is odd odd means 1 3 then take me lead the next value of the id right so i'll say lead instead of lag right now here one thing is very interesting here in this solution right so if i just run this it will absolutely work let's see if you see 2 1 4 3 6 5 7 also working but in this this is not required at all i'll show you why so this i will remove it we don't have to separately take care of the last thing right so what i will do i will say case when id percent if it is even then take previous one if it is odd then take next one now let me run this now in case of odd what it is doing it is taking next one right in case of odd it is taking next one so for this there is no next so it is giving null right so what i can do here is i will say we have the third argument in lead lag function that if the next value is not there it is null then take that value as it is right in that case it will take 7 as it is right so if i just run this now you will see it is perfectly working fine 2 1 4 3 6 5 and 7 so we don't have to take care of this separately just this third argument worked for us okay so these are the two methods there are many other methods but i found these two methods are really good right and this method doesn't depend on the consecutive numbers as well even if they are not 1 2 3 4 if they are 1 7 9 anything it will work right the only thing is it will not work is because here also we are check checking odd or even right so again that might not work so what you have to do you have to generate a row number separately order by id and then use that id again right okay done this is done now let's let's solve this and update this update this table so instead of this new id i will update this id itself okay so let's write the update statement so i will say update we need to update this seats table right seats table okay where seats dot okay let me first show you what i'm going to do so select the star from seats right and this is my query so what i will do i will join these two tables right i will join these two tables based on id right based on id i will join these two tables right and then i will i will update this id with the new id right so i will join these two tables based on id and the id of this table will be updated using the new id okay so now i will write it so i will say update uh, seats okay and we'll say set seats dot id equal to i'll just write with what we are going to set it now i will say update it from right from and i will take this query as it is i want to update it using this subquery right let's call it new seats right and i will join it based on where seats dot id equal to new seats dot id right both the tables we need to join on id but here i will update it with new underscore seats dot new id right so joining based on id and then we are saying update it based on new id right i hope this works so let's run this it is giving some error invalid column id uh okay i think from is missing here from seats is missing okay so let me take this okay this should be fine now okay so let me run this and see if our update is working okay seven rows affected select the star from seats if you see the seats are updated two amit one deepa four rohit three anjali and priya is as it is now if you want to do a order by we can do order by so that we get the new result with the sorted so we have one deepa earlier if you see in the insert statement one was amit two was deepa so one deepa two amit and so on okay i will put this insert and insert insert and create in the description box if you want to try out and let me know if you have a better or simpler solution or any other solution to solve this problem do like this share this thanks for watching have a good day